All right, so I'm going to show you how to remove your background just like this. What you're seeing here is not the actual background. It's actually an image that I've put into OBS Studio, but I have removed the background of myself. So it appears like that is what's in the background. Now you can use whatever image you want back there. You could use a video in the background, you know, whatever mix it up, OBS Studio is quite powerful. But this particular tool is not quite yet baked into OBS Studio. Maybe the next version of OBS you might have it, I don't know. But for now, you can head over to NVIDIA's website. I'll provide the link or you can Google NVIDIA Broadcast Download Center and download one of these video effects the one that applies to you. Now you will need to have an NVIDIA video card, either an RTX 20, 30, or 40. And I imagine there will be another download here once the 50 series video cards are released, unless of course it's baked into a future version of OBS Studio. So I'm guessing that you already have OBS Studio installed. You probably already have a microphone and some kind of a camera. Once you've done that and installed this, then you open up OBS Studio, right click on your webcam or your camera, go to filters. Once you go to filters, go ahead and add NVIDIA background removal. And then you can alter these settings. Now, if you have it on quality, it's going to put a higher demand upon your video card. So if you are streaming and gaming at the same time, you might want to use performance instead. It's not going to be quite as good, but it's still pretty accurate. And the threshold, well, it's the threshold kind of like around you and your chair. And you can also adjust the mask refresh frequency in frames if you want to. I find one is the best, but you can alter this as you like. So that's it. Very simple and really, really good. I have to say, very impressive. And truly, this is the power of AI.